In this project, the surface evaporation process in a 2D solar desalination system is simulated and analyzed. The geometry of this model is designed in ANSYS Design Modeler. Also, the mesh type used, is, used for this geometry is a structure and the element number is equal to 938,174. In general setup tab, you will see different dialog box from scale to units. By clicking on scale dialog box, a new window will appear. By clicking on the Report Quality dialog box, you will see that in the console tab, the Fluent software will start to check your mesh quality. For example, you will see that the Fluent software will give you the orthogonal quality and as maximum aspect ratio. In the Heat Mass Reaction section, you will see that a changes of phases from water to vapor phase is defined. And the mechanism for this change is also defined by using a UDF which exists in the files you will receive. Under the thermal tab, for the lateral walls, you will see that the thermal condition of convection is defined. Also, heat transfer coefficient is equal to 10, and the free stream temperature, which is the ambient temperature, is equal to 305.15 Kelvin. Also, the wall thickness for this wall is defined and is equal to 0 0.01 meter. Also, we have heat generation rate in this wall, which is equal to 93,500. There are two ways to check that your uh, simulation process have reached convergence. Alongside the checking the residuals or reaching and uh, nearing the zero, you may define some report to make sure that an equation have reached convergence. For example, by just right-clicking on the report definition, going on the new, you are able to choose between different reports. For example. You can define a mass flow rate report on a arbitrary boundary based on your geometry and your simulation. You are able to see whether this mass flow has reached a constant value or not. If yes, it may be a sign that your simulation has reached convergence, but the residual must be checked as well. Now, if you want to see the velocity vectors in the computational domain, by double clicking on the vector, a new window will appear. In the appeared window, under the vectors of section, we select the velocity, and, and after clicking our desired surface under the surface tab, by clicking on save display button, you can see the velocity vectors in your computational domain. In the shown velocity vector contour, you can see different vertexes formed inside the computational domain. Now the result behind this formation of vertexes and streams inside this desalination system is the effect of surface evaporation, which causes the water liquid to change its phase from liquid to gas. And after this phase change, the density of water will decrease. Hence, it will go up due to the gravitational force. Now in this velocity vector contour, which is the velocity vectors of flows and currents near the outlet boundary, and you can see the flows and currents near the outlet boundary zone and also in the lateral walls. As was mentioned in previous slide, there is a heat generation rate on the lateral walls which uh, causes the water vapor to even go higher in the desalination system as you can see and shown by its velocity vectors. Also, you can see a downward velocity vectors, uh, which is actually related to the water liquid. Now, as I've mentioned before, this project is about the surface evaporation, and it mentioned it, it states that evaporation occurs at any temperature. So, this project is all about the phase changes between liquid and vapors in every second. So. Uh, as can be seen in this uh, contour, a portion of water, water leak, water vapor actually, uh, exits the desalination systems via the outlet boundary. And a portion of water uh, vapor, again, changes into water liquid and, and falls downward to the water reservoir. In general, the main mechanism used in the desalination plant is to evaporate the salt water and then to distill the water vapor. Due to the high cost of this process, it has always been tried to provide the energy needed for this process 
at the lowest possible cost. One of the best methods that has received a lot of attention in recent years is the use of solar energy to supply the energy needed for this process. However, the remarkable point in this regard is the evaporation of water, which should normally occur at 100 degrees Celsius. In this method, it is not necessary to reach the temperature of 100 degrees, since in the surface evaporation, the water can be vaporized at any temperature. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mesar CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mesarcfd.com.